Many people work remotely from their RVs, boats, or off-grid cabins, which usually requires extensive use of a computer. And although computers aren't necessarily power hungry like an air conditioner, if you're working from one for 10 hours a day, it really adds up over time. Learning how to figure out how much power a desktop or laptop computer uses on a day-to-day -day basis so that we can size our batteries and solar appropriately is exactly what I'm going to teach you here in lesson number three of this electrical system sizing playlist. My name is Nate and welcome to the Explorers Life Mobile, Marine, and Off-Grid Electrical Academy. Last thing before we get started, I put some important information about this academy, some additional resources, and some prerequisite information related to this video down in the pinned comment below, so be sure to scroll down and check it out. Let's get started. Laptop computers, plugged in versus unplugged. Now this video was initially going to be a video only covering how to figure out how much power a laptop used, but I took a poll the other day on our YouTube channel asking people if they typically plug their laptops in only to charge and then use them off of the internal battery power or use their laptops while just connected to power. And the results were close enough that I've decided to show how much power a computer uses for both cases, one of which will work for estimating the power consumption of a desktop computer as well, so stay tuned. How much power does a laptop use while unplugged? When powering a computer from its internal battery, how much power does it use? This is gonna be very similar to figuring out how much power a phone uses like we discussed back in video 2.2 of this academy, but we're going to cover it again, just geared for computers this time. Here's the plan. We figure out how big the battery inside the device is. We convert that to watt hours. We figure out how many times per day we would be recharging the device. And then we multiply the device's battery size times the number of times we recharge the device per day. That's the plan and here's how it looks. I'm going to Google the model number of my computer and usually the computer will list the size of the battery in watt hours, which in the case of my laptop is 93.48 watt hours. And there's our answer. My laptop has a 93.48 watt hour battery. Now, if your manufacturer lists the battery in amp hours or milliamp hours and volts, here are the formulas to go from those to watt hours, which is what we need. How many times per day is a laptop battery used? If I'm charging my laptop overnight and then using the laptop and draining it to zero and then recharging it again the following night, the computer is using 93 watt hours throughout the day and then it's taking 93 watt hours to recharge the battery every night from the battery bank in our off-grid electrical system. Now, if you're using only 50% of the battery, the math is the same, just half. And if you're using the battery, recharging, using the battery, and then recharging again every day, you'll just multiply the full battery capacity by however many times you fully recharge it to get its daily consumption. But what if I don't use my laptop every day? When we're putting all of this information into a power audit, it would be unreasonable to try to estimate non-daily usage. For example, if you're a part-time remote butterfly psychologist and only work 2.7 days a week, you unfortunately don't get to average out your weekly consumption. Now this is because we're set to a solar recharging cycle as the sun goes up and down, which is generally only once per day outside of any rapture level events. And in spite of this, we need to just estimate for normal daily usage when the device is actually in use when talking about an overarching power audit, which we're gonna cover in more depth later in this academy, so consider subscribing. Now, before we move on, I want to hear from you. After watching this video, I'd love for you to test out your own computer and put the results down in the video description below. Let me know what make and model of computer you're using, the battery size, how many times per day you recharge it, or any other usage habits. I'm trying to build out a database of what kind of power usage various devices use, and teamwork makes the dream work here, so help me out and let me know down in the comments section below. What if I only use my laptop while plugged in? Now, if your laptop is like mine and has <laughs> garbage battery life, so it needs to be plugged in all of the time, or you work from a desktop computer, 
Finding out the daily consumption is pretty easy, but you'll need one of these AC power meters that plugs into the wall and then your computer plugs into it. And they're only like 15 bucks on Amazon. The computer plugs into the meter, the meter plugs into the outlet, and you'll press the little reset button right on the front, and then use your computer as normal for the day. And at the end of the day, you can look back and it will tell you how many kilowatt hours passed through the meter. The more days you use the meter, the more accurate your measurements will be. This is especially true if your computer usage varies from just internet browsing uh, one day to video editing and exporting the next. The other day while I was writing this script, I kept my computer plugged into one of these AC meters and let it run for four hours. And at the end of that time, the meter had counted 0.204 kilowatt hours going through it, which converting to watt hours is as simple as moving the decimal place to the right three places, resulting in 204 watt hours of usage. Now, if my average workday is 10 hours long, I just multiply that by two and a half to get my daily anticipated usage of 510 watt hours. Now, the AC power meter method is definitely a more accurate way to determine the power usage of your computer, and you can use the AC power meter method even if you use the laptop battery part of the time. Just let the power meter just sort of, you know, live on the end of your battery charging cable and use your laptop as normal for, say, you know, a week or so. And then divide that by seven to get the daily usage. Now, there are several different options to get the anticipated daily power consumption of your desktop or laptop computer, so you'll just need to pick the one that seems the closest for your needs, or better yet, use multiple methods and compare them to each other and then see if they agree. Now you should have a good idea of how to calculate the power used by a computer in a mobile, marine, or off-grid electrical system. Now we're gonna be referring back to this video later in this academy when we talk about full power audits, so be sure to bookmark it for future reference and come back to it if you need a refresher. Now, before we move on to the next lesson in this playlist, be sure to tell me how much power you've measured your computer to use down in the comment section below so we can all learn from it. In the next lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to determine the power required for a TV and video game console for those off-grid gamers out there. So click up here to watch and I'll see you over there.